Hi, I'm Spenta. I'm a nature fan. I'm a gardener. I'm a cultivator. And today I'm here with my hollyhock plant. This is one of my white hollyhocks. And I wanted to share some tips on how to grow them successfully and have them as part of your gardens each year. I'm Spenta. Your subscriptions, comments, and likes are greatly appreciated. If you are new to my channel, please take a moment and check out my content. Hit the subscribe button and turn on your bell for uploads and notifications from me. Today, I'm sharing some tips on how to care and grow beautiful hollyhocks. Hollyhocks come in a variety of colors. Hollyhocks come in red, different shades of pink, different shades uh, of actually yellow and white combos such as peach and orange. Beautiful colors. Lots of people think that hollyhocks are perennials. However, hollyhocks are actually biannuals. They're self-seeding biannuals, which means that they are pretty special for the gardens. And I'll share what that means. This means that hollyhock doesn't automatically come back each year. It means that once you plant the seed of hollyhock, it comes back that year and it's usually green. And the next year after that, it actually blooms flowers. It goes to seeds. And after it goes to seeds, then it automatically drops seeds to the ground. And those seeds come back again next year or you can save the seeds, which is what I do, place them in the ground, usually not in a dry location. A lot of beginners make the mistake of placing seeds in dry locations. They like to be in a moist area. It helps with the seeds actually germinating. So that's exactly what I do with my hollyhock plant. And after it's about one foot tall, I fertilize my hollyhock plant. So hollyhock is always fertilized and it I uh, give it good water. It likes well-drained soil and it also likes lots of water. It does well in drought, however, uh, lots of heat can actually bother the plants and make it go to seed. Usually it turns into seed and stops flowering midsummer uh, through the beginning of fall and sometimes it can do it differently depending on the climate it likes usually between 65 degrees fahrenheit to 90 degrees fahrenheit and today it's 100 degrees fahrenheit for me and i wanted to show you what i have here i have some beautiful amazing seeds that i will be harvesting off of this plant today some of them with you and I'll share with you where I place them. I like to place them in containers that are sealed. And prior to that, I place them in different bags. So that's what I'm going to be doing today. And there is more, some more right there. If we look down there, there are some more over here, some seeds. And that is a lot of seeds right over here. So right over here, this is a lot of seeds growing right here. And that's not the only seed pod. There are more seed pods right over here. These are going to turn into more flowers. There is a seed pod right there with a lot of seeds in it. So that's going to be a good one. I still have more. I still have flowers on different locations of my plant. And that's because I use mulch and I use fertilizer. I highly recommend after your first year of growing your uh, beautiful flowers or even if you place seeds down or you know seeds were placed down, mulch the area, usually it comes back. I've noticed the same pattern with hollyhock plants and morning glory, similar, similar plant pattern as the way they grow and they all, both of them attract butterflies and bees and hummingbirds which is awesome. So birds love hollyhocks. That's pretty nice. So they're great, amazing. This is actually one of the best plants you can have in your gardens. It's really not good for planting in a container. Um, it's okay, however you're not going to get maximum yield out of it. Think about it like this. This is a plant that thrives very well in lots of sun. So it needs a lot of sun. It does all right in part shade. I have planted the same exact seed in part shade, part sun, and I realized that it grows less at less tall than this. So this plant right here is about, um, let's see, 
this is about five and a half to six feet however the plant i have on the side that is i'm looking at them right now the one that's part shade and part sun same color i realized that that one is around three feet tall and the other one is around four feet so they grow a little bit shorter and give you less flowers hollyhocks are awesome and used in medicinal purposes medicinal teas the hollyhock flower is actually used in teas herbal teas it relieves breathing issues it is known to relieve some breathing issues also known to relieve other issues such as perhaps ulcers and also it's been used the flower itself has been used to relieve inflammation so swelling it's been used for that hollyhocks very nice because it was medicinally used and it's also used to have an addition in your garden as it brings in so many pollinators and it's very important for our ecosystem and if we are gardeners and we want to have successful beautiful plants in our gardens like myself that also is into planting herbs all year round and also into planting other plants such as my own produce that likes to have my own produce all year round so if I'm one of those type of people it's best to have flowers growing so I can have pollinators come in and out of my gardens and this is a plant that I highly recommend it will start flowering for you in the spring and it's such a gorgeous flower plant it right as soon as the last frost is over plant the seeds straight into the ground and cover it with mulch and it will come right up and it will be so beautiful and nice and I have some seeds over here that I will be traveling over here to to grab my seed bag and I can grab some seeds from here Very nice flowers, just like morning glory. You can also do something else. Earlier in the season, if you didn't want your plant to produce so much seed, you could, right after it starts giving flower and it looks like this, you could start cutting those flowers off right away and they don't go into seed buds you could also trim it right here with just regular scissors uh, your garden shears and if you prune them with that just like this i could uh, use some of this and prune this area right here with that and if you use that then just keep in mind that you're going to have some more flowers and you're going to have less seeds so let's see how many seeds i have over here Oh, that's produced a lot of seeds. This plant is well producing. That's pretty nice. That's a large amount. Um, at the store, you get this many seeds in a bag. So I have about three times the amount at the moment and there are more to be cut from here and pruned very well these are so many seeds and all I do is I plant about four or five four to five in an area four to five seeds in one area that's all it takes that's right, four to five in one area and you'll have beautiful hollyhocks. Right over here is my raspberry. Oh, this is my blackberry. I said raspberry. This is my blackberry. And I have some blackberries right over here. I have every berry here. I love berries. I have elderberry, blueberry. I like berries, strawberry. Let's see here.
So make sure that they are in a sunny area. They'll grow best in a sunny area. I promise you. They love su the sun. They thrive best in sun. And I just do that and then I'll take these out. And as you see, if I get close, see there are lots of seeds that have already dropped on the ground and some more in that area. So that tells me that it is self-seeding in, indeed and it should tell you the same thing. So once again, this hollyhock plant is a good plant to grow. It's easy to grow. I highly recommend it for your gardens, especially if you're trying to bring in pollinators in your gardens. Also, if you're trying to grow more flowers that are vibrant and that you can save the seeds of and not have to go back to the store and spend money on buying seeds. So hollyhocks are good for that. And today we were able to harvest some hollyhocks and this is actually a very decent amount of the white hollyhock. So this is a good amount of white hollyhock. And now lots of people call it perennial, as I mentioned. So I say perennial, but it is really not perennial. It's a biennial that self-seeds and comes back the next year. There we go. And there are some more blooms of my hollyhock plant. And I still have some more seeds to grab. I'm Spenta, and I enjoy growing perennials, evergreens, and plants that self-seed or plants that I can save the seeds of and grow back the next year. I thank you for being here with me today. Your subscriptions, likes, and comments are greatly appreciated. I highly recommend you growing hollyhock in your gardens. It's hardy to zone three to nine and it does give you lots of seeds and brings in lots of pollinators. I'm Spenta and I wish you happy gardening and a beautiful day.